there's a lot of things that are just clear in Scripture that help us to understand the nature of work. So to begin with, I want to set a framework for you. The first principle to understand here is that to win at work has always been part of God's plan. That means that work is actually a good thing because it's always been what God has had in mind for human beings ever since he created the world. To take it very back to the very beginning in Genesis chapter 1 where God created everything, we see that, that work has tremendous significance because it's part of God's plan uh, for the whole world. It's part of God's plan for his creation. And we see that in uh, Genesis chapter 1, when God made the world and then he made human beings and put them in the world, then he gave us sort of marching orders. He gave us a commission that included the reasons why we work. Let's take a look at Genesis 1, starting in verse 26. God said, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and govern it, reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. So what we see in Genesis chapter 1 is that the greatest purpose of work is this amazing calling, this amazing opportunity that God has given us as human beings to draw forth all of the latent potential of his original creation. You see, at the end of Genesis chapter 1, in verse 31, it says that God looked at everything that he'd made and he saw that it was very good. And so creation, while it was good, it was perfect. However, it wasn't complete. It was in its raw and potential form. And so it's our job as human beings to draw forth that potential. And so it says that in Genesis 1 that we're made in God's image. Now what that means is then that we reflect something of God. We reflect God's creativity. Obviously, we can't create something out of nothing, but we're creative beings. That we reflect that God actually worked. When God made creation, that was an act of work on his part. And it also means that we're his representatives in the world that he's made. It's like this, I have a property in, in another town where my daughter helps me to manage. And so the property's in my name, I'm the owner, my name is on the deed, but she helps me to take care of it. And so she has a credit card, it's in my name, but she has the authority to use it in order to take care of uh, that property that I own. And that's kind of what it's like, that we represent God in that way in his creation. We, we have a credit card, as it were, with his name on it that we can use. We have the authority to bring creation under his control on his behalf, in his name. And then it also says in Genesis 1 that we're called to rule over and subdue the raw elements of God's creation. And that takes work. What that means is like God made all the animals, but it was human beings who through their labor domesticated those animals so that you have cows that could pull a, a, a plow or horses that could be ridden. God made all of the minerals and the ore in the world, but it was human labor that has drawn forth that ore and smelted it and through the science of metallurgy, it's created uh, iron and, and copper and alloys like bronze and steel and so forth. And then has been able to create things out of the metals that came from the ore. That was human labor. And so, for example, God made food. He made plants that bear fruit and seeds and so forth. But it was human work that domesticated plants and learned how to create agriculture in order to feed, uh, feed the world. Now, that's what we're called to. That's our, our, it's inherent in our DNA almost, in a sense, that we have this creativeness, that we have this ability to... to do this with the creation that God had made. It's like taking a boy and putting him in a room full of Legos. Man, there's nothing that a kid would love more than that, right? To take just an unlimited supply of Legos and of different shapes and sizes and colors and start to bring order to those Legos and create things out of them, to build forts and, and cars and uh, planes and spaceships and all the things that his imagination could build from those Legos. That's like what God has done by placing us as human beings in this place in his creation. That's the ultimate purpose of work, to draw forth the potential of God's creation. And so whatever your job is, whatever it is that you do, when you go to work, then you're involved in that process. If you work in a restaurant, then you're involved in drawing forth the raw materials of God's creation to feed people, 
Now, you maybe not don't grow the food or process it, but you have a role to play in, in that process of feeding people. If you're involved in technology, then again, no matter what your role in the, in the process is, then you're involved in helping to take the raw materials of earth and put them to use to benefit people. And whatever your job is, God's called you to shape uh, his world and to uh, create, after he's created, to create more with what he's made. And that's, in fact, why God put Adam in the garden. He gave him work to do. Now, you might think the Garden of Eden was just Adam kicking back and hanging out and enjoying a hammock in paradise. But God gave Adam work to do. And we see that in Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. The Lord God placed the man in the Garden of Eden to tend and watch over it. Now, when God put Adam to work in the Garden of Eden, that shows us that we should welcome the opportunity to work. Work is what we were created for. Just like Adam, God has meaningful work for us to do. And so go out and find your place. You know, go out and make a contribution because work has always been part of God's purpose and always part of God's plan. And work is a good thing.